when the brain's protective. It's what keeps you from being a big slab of meat. I've forgotten more neuroscience than he ever knew. Here's a real test. Can you do this? What, are you kidding me? Yeah, I am. I'm kidding you, Hank. What, are, are you going to give me anything for the pain? Breathe, Hank. It hurts a lot less that way. As long as you don't blow it. How am I going to blow it? By opening your mouth. A word to the wise. Be nice to the judge. Humble, contrite, courteous. He lost me at humble. I'm going to go practice being humble in the mirror. Practice hard. Hey. You sound like you had a bowl of confidence for breakfast. That I did. That I did. With a little dose of victory. I would rather be in jail than continue to be forced to work at your pathetic little excuse of a hospital. You want to know the best thing about leaving this town, Hank? Never seeing you again. And don't bother waving goodbye. I wouldn't want you to hurt your finger. I'm amazed you didn't kill her. I told you. Not the best. I know. Over and over again. You know, most neurosurgeons wouldn't attempt this procedure the first time on their own. Well, most neurosurgeons ought to be slicing salami someplace. You know, I'm trying to give you a compliment, and I can't compete with your ego. You admit you're impressed. Go. Oh, okay. All right. I'm ready this time. I'm sorry about that. I lost my temper. I shouldn't have done it. it. It had nothing to do with you. Good to know. Well, like I said, sometimes I'm a good guy in spite of myself. Yeah, you want, maybe I should find him a playgroup? Look, Dr. Oliver, please, can you just not be a jerk for like two more minutes? Look, I'm his doctor, I'm not his babysitter. Yeah, I'm really a warm, fuzzy guy. <laughs> Look, if you come down to Dallas to visit him, just do me a favor. Make sure I don't run into you. See you in Dallas. Hope not. Shouldn't you be at the hospital torturing patients? Well, I figured if I hung out around here long enough, you'd show up and I could torture you, Hank. I like that guy less and less every day. Now, how could that be? I thought you were perfect. I am. How do you know this? Are you an idiot? I'm not going to answer that question. Oh, golly, that just opens us up to hours of speculation, doesn't it? Some people deserve kindness. Others are like you. Hey, I'm talking to you. And yet, I'm not listening. Going the rest of the day without seeing your face in this godforsaken town would be helpful indeed. As tempting as the offer is, it has one very large drawback. What's that? It comes from you. Do you have any idea how childish that sounds? Yep. But it's not as ridiculous as you chasing me all over town, whining that I'm not going to play with your toy. Oh, my God, you're sitting down. I'm unique. You're messing with me. You're not gay. You're requiring proof? How would that work exactly? What, so that we can share the secret handshake? So you're telling me that if I had told you that I'm a Pisces, yet ironically allergic to fish, you and I would have bonded? What do you want more than anything? To wake up to discover that the last few months have been one tragic nightmare. She's the Really? I thought he was the love of his life. You don't trust me? Any reason we should?